Victoria's state of emergency will remain until the end of the year after the Andrews government passed legislation late last night. Live to Gabriella Power in Melbourne now. Gabriella, good morning. It gives the Chief Health Officer extraordinary powers. It does, Pete. The state of emergency gives the Chief Health Officer the powers to do whatever is necessary to reduce the spread of COVID-19. This, of course, includes lockdown, mask wearing and enforcing quarantine for return travellers. Victoria has been in a state of emergency since March last year. That will now be extended until December. The uh, legislation allowing the extension passed the Upper House last night after the Andrews government secured support of the Greens, the Reason Party and the Animal Justice Party. This passed on the condition that coronavirus fines for young people will be reduced, but the opposition says that nine months has gone too far. This is quite astounding that we've got a government that really that thinks it's necessary to have state of emergency legislation in operation until December. Think of what that does to the economy in Victoria. Protesters marched outside state parliament late yesterday, demanding that the state of emergency be scrapped. And uh, business owners say that this gives them no certainty. We just want surety from them that they've got the systems right, that everything's in place so we don't have to go into lockdown. It's their responsibility to manage it properly now. Pete, this comes as Victoria goes four days in a row without a coronavirus case. And we've just heard an alert that Premier Daniel Andrews will be speaking a little earlier today at 8 o'clock.